Hey guys, welcome back to Meter Talk with John. I'm in the back room here. There's Rick. I don't know if you can hear him because I think the sound's coming through here, but hey, we'll find out. <laughs> so we just got, I was going to do my own record store day video, but we just got to work out whew, taking care of the kingfish one. So I'm going to piggyback off of them. I'm going to steal their footage. That'll That's what fine. I'm going to do. So you're going to see the same exact thing on my channel that you're going to see on theirs just without this cool introduction. That's the only difference. So there, there it is right there. All the, well, starting with that brown box over there, down there and all these bad boys right here. And we're getting ready to do a new release video. So we have to do that. So anyway, uh, enjoy the video. And here is all the stuff uh, that Kingfish Records has to offer for Record Store Day. Hey everybody, it is Rick and John is with me. Hello. And this is the uh, Record Store Day Reveal. First up, let's um, uh, go ahead. Obviously we have got a ton of stock and um, first I'm gonna show you a couple of uh, uh, shaped picture discs and things like that uh, and some seven inches. So let's start with that. The big one is right here. Take a look at that. That is Olivia Rodrigo and Noah Khan. Uh, they are covering each other's songs on this one. Uh, let's see, she does Stick Season and No Come is doing Lacey. Okay, so that's a big one. Got a ton of copies of that. Uh, then we got uh, the Body Snatchers. I don't know much about them, but uh, there we go. We do have a few of those. Uh, then we have the GBI. Uh, that's uh, Dave Grohl, Scott Ian, and Char Charlie Benante, uh, and they're doing a uh, Bad Brains cover on that one right there. That's Bad Brains, yeah. I like it. Uh, this is a very popular one. Getting a lot of calls about this one. It is 100 Gex, and that is called Snake Eyes. Perfect for 420, right, John? Yeah, I know nothing okay. about this. I have no yeah. idea. And then uh, here is a 10-inch picture disc of Kate Bush. Uh, this one is called Eat the Music. Oh, food on there. There you go. Okay. There we go. And what do you got over here, John? This is a box set by Black Beauty. Who's Black no, Beauty? No, it is Black Breath. Oh, Black John. Breath. Okay. I thought it was Black Beauty. No. It's Black uh, Beauty now. And All right. They it's Black are breath. Um, punk and death metal from Seattle. All right. So this there is we what? Go. We only got one of that. Okay. Five LPs Very plus limited. cassette and patch. Has a go. cassette. Wow. First up for me, I've got uh, 10,000 Maniacs, and this one's called Playing Favorites. This okay. is a uh, Buena Vista Social Club limited edition gold color vinyl. I'm going to read the front, then show it to you. There you go. And this one right here, I got 1975 live at Gorilla in Manchester. A lot of people looking for that. I almost thought this was Horror Times, but I think there's a D there. It is Hard Times. David Byrne does Hard Times. So. And actually, Paramore is on the B side doing oh. Burning Down the House. Oh, very, and it says that right there. It does. Wow, okay. you can read. All right, who's this? Uh, Two Chains and Little Wayne. All right, and this one's called uh, Welcome to College Grove. This yep. is Eric Carr, Unfinished Business. Now, Battery. this was released previously. This is a 2LP version. It's actually kind of cool. It's got a little USB port on the side, yeah. and the eyes light up. <laughs> I was wondering what that's okay. Yeah, it said somehow battery charging for flashing that's eyes. That's kind of cool. You see the USB port? That's pretty. Oh, there you go. That is pretty All neat. Right. Uh, then I got a pair of uh, Cannonball Adderleys. Uh, this one is uh, Burnin' in Bordeaux and uh, Poppin' in Paris. There we go. Okay. You're cheating. You showed two albums. I'm sorry. <laughs> Cheech and Chong, Up in Smoke. No seeds, no stems, loaded with hits. Mm -hmm. There you go. And some weird woman on the backside. And I got uh, Amboy Duke's uh, Journey to the Center of the Mind. Oh, look at that. Includes a pack of rolling papers. Right there. What is going on? Woo! Okay. Nat King Cole, live at the Blue Note Chicago. Pretty cool. Looks like a two-album set. Okay. For Nat King Cole fans. And uh, I've got um, uh, America, alive from the Hollywood Bowl in 1975. This one's a Kraft Recordings Collective Soul Dosage. So there it is. Always like Kraft. Yeah. Right? Yeah, good recordings. Uh, this is uh, Amorphous. Don't know what the uh, title is of that one, though. But there you go. And this one's disturbing me, but it's the cranberries bury the hatchet. That's kind of weird looking. No idea what's going on in there, and you don't want to see the backside of that. So no. it's available though if you want a naked guy <laughs> with an eyeball in the sky. Uh, and I've got Horace Andy living it up. Steve Conte, right? That is right. The concrete jangle, not jungle. What? That's what it says. You're right. It says jangle, it yeah. Does. Okay. 
There you go. And I've got Asking Alexandria. This is called uh, Reckless and Relentless, and that's on uh, Gold Nugget Vinyl. Hey, this is a Jim Croce album, The Final Tour. Looks like it was captured in 1973. We know we lost him very soon after this recording, I think. I would think so. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I've got uh, a craft recording from At the Drive-In. Uh, this is uh, in Casino Out. Okay. All right. Cool. This is R. Crumb in the cheap suit, serenaders uh -huh. singing in the bathtub. That was a mouthful. And there's the album. There you go. And I've got one called uh, At the Gates, a Slaughter of the Soul. And of course, what's Record Store Day without a Cure picture disc? That's right. There it is, the mm -hmm. Cure. The Which top. one is it? The top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, this one we're getting calls on too. Uh, this is uh, someone called uh, a tease, uh, rap, hip hop, and uh, the world EP. And this is Daft Punk. Something about us. Love theme from the Interstellar five 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 five. Okay. Check Baker and Jack Sheldon uh, in perfect harmony. Ooh, you're okay. getting quicker. Okay. What is uh -huh. this? Damage. Eighties underground. New York City punk at its most visceral and hardcore okay yeah okay i got uh captain beefheart and the what is the spot and the spotlighters no it says on spotlight clear vinyl yeah i know but i oh, think it it's says, the oh yeah it could be the yeah. spotlighters yeah there we go all and right. spotlight vinyl. okay got it we're learning as we, go. we go all right this is uh della soul live at tramps new york city 1996. okay boom and I've got, now this one is, I've only got one of, uh, it is Blur, Park Life, and this is a Zoetrope picture disc. Okay, there you go. All right, this is uh, Dead by Sunrise, Out of Ashes, Deluxe Edition. Now that features Chester Bennington of um, uh, Lincoln Park. Mark Bowen and T-Rex, and um, there we go. Uh, oh, The Dead Milkman. Mm -hmm. uh, Bucky Feelin? Fellini. Mm -hmm. I don't Bucky know. Bucky Fellini. Fellini. <laughs> I'm a big de uh, Dead Milkman fan, you can tell. Of course. There you go. Uh, here is uh, BDP. Fellini, Fellini. Boogie Down Productions. This is called Edutainment. Uh, this is uh, Dead or Alive, the Pete Hammond High Energy. Uh -huh. High Energy mm -hmm. remixes. So there you go. I've got uh, the Bottle Rockets. Okay, right there. Who is this one? Oh, Olivia Dean. Dean. Okay, live at the Jazz Cafe. Uh huh. That's kind it's of kind a cool. of a cool cover. I right? like that one. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I have uh, David Bowie. David Bowie waiting uh, in the sky uh, before the Star Man came to Earth. And this is a uh, dead, dead. All right, I'm Jeez. out. What is going on? <laughs> Death Leopard. I know these bands. Mm -hmm. One night only live at Sheffield 2023. There we go. And it looks like okay. it's uh, two albums that. Yeah. Oh, this one I really like. Uh, it is the Dio uh, Zoetrope picture disc of uh, The Last in Line. Spin it around, spin it around. Woo there you go. There we go. All right, this is The Faces, the BBC session recordings. Boom, of course you had Rod Stewart and uh, what was that other Roddy guy? Roddy Wood. That guy. Here is a picture disc, another picture disc of uh, Dio. Uh, this one is, um, I guess, like a 12-inch, um, and it is called The Last in Live. Is that his dog on the back cover? That is. Yeah, yeah I thought so. Evil. Yeah, Satan dog. This is a filter. I can't read this crazy things. The very best yeah. things. The very best things. The very uh -huh. best. I think it's the very 95 best. Ninety-five to two thousand eight. Okay, there it is. Uh huh. Record store day on craft, so mm -hmm. that's a good, uh, good pressing. And I've got uh, a Dirty Heads, uh, a four LP, and uh, what's this called? Uh, Midnight Control. This is a Fleet Foxy live on Boston Harbor. That's the Fleet Foxes. John. That's what I said. Well, you know, when I go into editing, I add the S. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't know the editing magic of things. No, I don't. So, fine. One and done. You worry about your done, records. John. Those are your records. I told you to study. You know what? <laughs> and I didn't follow directions. Uh, I got the doors, uh, and this is uh, live in Stockholm in uh, 1968. That's a three albums that. Oh, wow. That's when it says six. It means. Is I got that what it, it means? I think one, so. One, two, three. Yeah. Makes, makes sense. All right. Fleetwood Mac, <laughs> they, they had to come up with one more way of getting this album out to you guys. So now you have a picture disc of rumors. Mind. I got a, a Dr. John. Uh, how, what do you say? Gree Gree? Gree Gree Gumbo Yaya. Yeah. Okay. Singles from 68 to 74. So we have some burritos to go with your Gree Gree. Okay. So that's the Flying Burrito Brothers. There you go. Mm -hmm. Two album set. You can't have burritos with your Gree Gree. <laughs> it's not, not Star Wars. You, you don't eat yeah. your Gree Gree. 
No, you don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a Emerson Lake in uh, Palmer picture disc. Uh, this is a uh, pictures at an exhibition. This one's scary. Forbidden. Mm. Kind of looks like a Grateful Dead colorish, but you know, but very much not like the Grateful Dead. I know, Dead but doll. it kind of just reminds me mm -hmm. the coloring and the art. Kind of reminds Maybe me of Grateful Dead. Maybe that was on purpose. Uh, two album set. There you go. Uh, Eek a mouse. Uh, assassin. Uh, Assassin they put, they put assassinator. Stuff over. Jesus. I wow, we're amateurs. Okay. Yep. We only do this every week. Foxy this Brown. Is Foxy Brown. Oh, well, do you not own this album? It feels I, like you I, own I this. I got three copies. Okay. Okay, raise your children better than this. <laughs> All right. Two album set, looks like. Yep. The English beat. Wappin. Wappin? What happened? Wappin. Wappin, <laughs> Steve. Ace Freely, of course. 10,000 volts. Picture disc. Could we need another copy of you that? You gotta have that. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> No sarcasm. I got a Bill Evans on Kraft Vinyl. This is Everybody Digs Bill Evans. Does everybody dig Bill Evans? He's he a is genius. a genius. Okay. Not Gil Evans, though. Nobody no, likes Gil Evans. No, it's a different one. <laughs> Extended Fun Boy 3. And he looks like oh, yeah. I, they're all looking like they shouldn't be together. So they don't look happy together. No, they don't. G Love and the Special Sauce. And there we go. That's a 2 LP right there. And of course, again, you cannot have Record Store Day without a Grateful Dead box set. That's so right. there you go. Seven sides. This one is uh, a 12 inch by uh, The Garbage. It's called uh, Lie to Me. All right, I'm going to show two since you showed you two. Do it. And these are Zoetropes, Trobes, uh -huh. Strobies, Trubies. If you go like this, they make fancy pictures like that. And they're both George Harrison, Electric uh -huh. Sound, Electronic Sound, and Wonderwall Music. There you go. Speak of uh, Grateful Dead, I got the, the Jerry Garcia Band. And this one is um, Electric on the Eel, June 10th, 1989. Thank you. Him, uh, picture disc, shapey disc? What do you call that? Yeah. Fold it smells out. funny, too. It's, and it smells funny. Yeah. yeah I think that's you. <laughs> I think you finally got it with you yourself. All it's, right. They call it a heartogram. A heartogram? That's what it says. Yeah. You believed him. <laughs> <laughs> that's not me believing him. That's me going, this guy's high as a kite. <laughs> I got uh, the Lowell George. This is called Thanks. I'll eat here. Yeah. <laughs> and while you do, just paint me a silly picture. There we go. All right. You have the Hives mm -hmm. with a number two. Uh-huh. The black and Ooh. white album. He's holding up right. a two. It's no, a, why is it? Oh, oh that's awesome. I love this because I'm making so many mistakes. It's like the best video. So the Hives with a V. He looks like he's holding up a two, a peace sign. I see what he's doing there. There you go. Next. You got another Hives back there, too. Really? Is it uh -huh. after the this Hives? Yeah. Lex Hives, an album by the Hives. There you go. Now, nobody's holding up a two in this one. Or on that side. Actually, the name of that album is actually uh, Hide 2S. Hide 2S. Oh, <laughs> No. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You make me you look at this stuff you. I know. And I'm going to... That's it. Watch what I do for this next one. Watch what I do for the rest of these albums. This is going to get good. <laughs> All right, now I've got a, uh, this is a music on vinyl of Golden Earrings album uh, cut. So this is Muddy Waters, and uh, he looks like Howlin' Wolf in this one, but it's not. It's Howlin' Wolf. Is it? Who is that? Howlin' Wolf. Oh, it's Howlin' Wolf. Okay. You, you, you know, know better than I. I now. don't know that kind okay. of stuff. But this looks good, actually. Live in Europe, 1964. So The Gorillas. And uh, this is called uh, Cracker Island, and this is um, uh, a limited edition alternate cover uh, with bonus tracks. Not yeah, cool. Cool ass poster too. All right, this is Iggy and the Stooges live at the. Uh, yeah, that's the one I couldn't pronounce. 2005. I was gonna do better, but I went ahead and just stumbled over it anyway. Go ahead, say it. Lockers. Lockers feasting. Yeah, Lockers go ahead. Feasting. You're gonna get a letter. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> You're getting a letter. Chris Isaac, and this is called. Um, Beyond the Sun. There you go. Okay. Sun Records Recordings. Yes, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I can tell you all about this album. This is Elton John. He was not Billy Joel. He was Elton John. This is Caribou, and this is a 50th. Wait, didn't they tour together? They did. They played. They had these pianos that went like this. Go ahead. Go like that right there and play piano. That's what they did. All right. Caribou. All right. <laughs> all right. We got to get our next batch, right? All right. You ready? One, two, three. We're yeah. back. Look All right. That. All right. And here we are. We've got the rest. We've got the rest of uh, the stuff here. Yeah. Uh, this one is uh, the Noah Khan. All right. It's called uh, I Was, I Am. Well, good for so, him. Okay. All right. Good, there Noah. Go. He knows who he is. Mm -hmm. Charles Mingus, Reincarnations, Record Store Day. He's Boom. my favorite. 
awesome bass player in the jazz world. And I've got uh, the uh, a 12 inch by uh, the Mark Knopfler of Dire Straits fame. Yes. Uh, this is a called uh, the Boy. The monkeys. Look at this. We were just talking about hey, the hey. monkeys, the birds, the bees, and the monkeys. Right there for record store day, and they look like cool with the guitar picks on the Wonderful. back. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, then I've got uh, Youssef Latif. Uh, this is called Atlantis Lullaby, two LP concert from Avignon. Yeah. Oh, oh. And what else would you put with your jazz? Oh, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Motley Crue to go with your jazz. All right. There you go. I have no idea what's going on here. It's a two album set. Uh, it's Super two Sonic. album picture disc, actually. Two? Okay. Yes. Demonic Relics. Supersonic and Demonic Relics. Motley Crue. Now, one thing uh, I want to show you about this one here is it's going to be kind of weird because uh, it's kind of hard to determine which one you would go with. This is John Lennon's Mind Games. This one is a glow-in-the-dark edition. Take a look right there. Come in close. All right. All right. That one's glow-in-the-dark. This one is 180 gram black vinyl. So make sure you pick up the one that you actually are wanting. Yep. Okay. And then we have Motorhead. Remorse? No. There you go. And it looks like it's a two album set. I said it very forcefully. Mm -hmm. Remorse? No. Two LP uh, version of No Remorse, actually, I believe. What? Why did they do it that way? It's kind of like a remix. Whatever. I don't know. Then I got a band here called the. Uh, Lettuce. Yep, they're called Lettuce. Hungry. And it's called uh, Vibe. Mr. Big, lean into it live. The Big Finish? Or is it the Big Finish, lean into know. it live? I don't know. Read it any way you want, but Mr. Big. Jenny Lewis, picture disc. There you go. Jenny Lewis was with... I don't know, but you know what? That's, I thought that was Kate Bush before. There we go. Yep. It's not Kate Bush. Jenny Lewis. Who's uh, she with? Rilo Kylie? Kylie, something like that? Kylie Minogue? No, Rilo I'm making up Kylie. Names. Yeah. What he Man. said. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, this is Mud Honey and it weighs 100 pounds. Uh, that one's mine. Suck you dry the reprise years. Well, yep. that's, that's family friendly and there's toilets mm -hmm. on the front to go with it. I know. There you go. Is this a couple albums? What's, it is. what's going on? Uh, oh, three five. LPs and two EPs, I believe. Uh, okay. That was when uh, their legendary grunge uh, band, that's when they signed to the major label and uh, sold out. Then I've got uh, a little Wayne and uh, I don't know, what's this one called? Sorry for the wait. All it's right. okay. We forgive you. Yeah. This is MXM Tune. There so you I'm go. Call M, M, M Tune. Do we know who it is? No. M Tune. Plum Blossom. I was looking for there Plum Blossom colored, but there is no Plum Blossom colored. But there you go. All right. I'm not sure what type of music that is. I don't either. Yeah. That'd be one to check out. Uh, then I've got uh, a Little Richard. Okay. I called right now. Okay. I had an Elvis look there, a little bit of thought for a second. Yeah. This one's cool. This is part two, or volume two, as we say in the fancy worlds. Willie Nelson, long story short, 90th celebration. I had the other one at home. It's awesome, so I can't wait to get my hands on this one. Well, this is Willie too, and this is one I, yeah, definitely need for my collection. Phases and stages. This is where Willie was taking over. What happened? My camera person's talking to me. Oh, am I looking at you? <laughs> Hello, sorry, I didn't mean to ignore you. All right, expanded two LP set. This is when Willie was starting to take over his music and um, it just got better at that point. So he wasn't uh, feeding to the uh, record industry. You didn't know that? I don't care. All right, uh, then we've got... <laughs> um, I have information and he doesn't want it. <laughs> malfunction. Even if I just made it up. Uh, this is a Malfunction. Malfunction uh, is uh, Andrew Wood. Uh, who used to be in uh, Mother Love Bone. Oh, okay. this is 333 three to go That's with our right. 666 That's over right. There. And uh, this one's called Olympus Awaits. So this is uh, all the recordings by Andrew Wood and Malfunction. Okay? I don't care. That's see, right. see how it feels? <laughs> anyway. Miko, she was with who? Uh, the Velvet Underground. Ooh, see, I like to put him on the spot. He's Beastie gonna, Boys? he's gonna get me. Yeah, Beastie Boys. <laughs> uh, former member. Oh, it even says it. Former member of the Velvet Underground. Uh -huh. There you go. And it's on some kind of green vinyl. Roger McGuinn, Chris Hillman, and Marty Stewart. And uh, this is them uh, doing uh, Sweethearts of the Rodeo live. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's kind of the birds. Absolutely. Yeah, and it has okay. a little symbol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, ready to? Is this ready to die? Oh, the it Notorious B.I.G. Instrumental. It is the instrumentals of Ready to Die. All right. The Meat Puppets live in uh, Montana, because that's exciting. This is Naz. 
It is. This is Illmatic. Remixes and rarities. See how I did that? Faux show. That's right. It, it comes with like its own feel. Mm -hmm. You hold this record, you change your whole personality. It's awesome. Did you show them the cover? Yeah, I did right here. Come there in the store. Is. If you want to see the covers, you come in the store. Oh, you missed one, John. Oh, what is that? This is uh, The Offspring, and this is uh, a picture disc of their album uh, Splinter. Okay. Here we go. All right, here's another weird one. Uh, it's uh, Paramore, and it's their album This Is Why. There are two versions. They look almost identical. All right. So this one is a remix of the album. Um, and uh, as well as the regular album, okay? So two LPs, and that's how it is. If you are just looking for the remix by itself, it is this one, okay? You look so confused. I don't see a difference, what are you talking about? Wait, all right, the there's back. the back of the, the two the LP. The backs are different, There's yeah. the back of the single. But the fronts look different. All right, yeah, and the, the price is a little different. I was looking okay? at the front too to see if there was a difference. No, and, yeah. yeah, except there's a small little thing one says 2LP, the other just says uh, there you go. Uh, the colored vinyl. So it's kind of like the John Lennon, be careful what you're you looking got for. It. Hey, I forgot something. We got the Pearl Jam Dark Matter. This is the record store day, and that I believe is on like a black and gold. So that is the record store day edition right there. So we have uh, about 20 copies uh, that are going to be available for RSD. This is Schooly D. Schooly D. Saturday night, uh -huh. the album. All and right. it's here. This one is actually Charlie Parker, uh, Norman Granz's Jazz at the Philharmonic. This is Gil Scott Heron and Brian Jackson, Winter in America. I know Brian. You know, that kind of is a cool looking. <laughs> See that vinyl? That's kind of cool looking. I've got uh, the Parliament, Os Osmium Deluxe. I go. like some Parliament. Okay. Screaming Trees, weird things happen, and it sure looks like it happened to those boys right uh -huh. there. These are the weird things Mark happening. Mark Lanigan, great uh, band right there. Yeah, 86 uh -huh. to 88. He's passed. Oh, he's gone? Yes, he is. Want to mm -hmm. take a moment? All right, we're good. Okay. All right, All right this one uh, had a few calls on uh, Maisie Peters, and uh, oh, cool. there you go. All right, picture disc or whatever. Seven Dust, heavier than seven. Seven singles from Seven Dust, 2000 to 2015 records, pressed on black and red splatter vinyl. There's the front. My next up is Lee Scratch Perry and the Upsetters. Skanking with the Upsetters. Skanking with the Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I made it out. All right. Sushi and the Banshees. Did I say it correctly? God. Susie. No, you didn't. Susie. Susie and the Banshees. <laughs> Whew. We're All keeping right. that in. All right. Susie. You've recovered. It looks like sushi. It's not sushi. Would you like some sushi? Uh, no. With your Banshees. All right. This is called Nocturne. You're... Nocturne. Uh -huh. And this is a, it feels like a two record. It is, yeah. There's the front. I believe it is a live LP. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes. yeah, Roll Albert Hall right there. Yes. 83. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rick. This is going to be everybody's pick, but I only have one. Is it Polly Shore? No. Oh. It is oh. Little, little Joe Pesci. I. And Little Joe sure can sing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was actually <laughs> contemplating that. I actually was. He that could sing. He could mind. sing. No. It, he, he could sing. It just, it wasn't, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't there. You, yeah, yeah. God. What is that the called? The slit uh -huh. in the beginning. That's right. And she looks happy. She's a happy person. Uh-huh. In the beginning, um, what is this? Uh, two LP anthology, 77 to 81. Uh -huh. Boom. Cool punk rock. Pixies live from Red Rocks in 2005. This is getting harder. Slum Village. Is that who that is? That okay, is Detroit is. Deli, A Taste of Detroit, Slum Village, featuring Kanye West, John Legend. That's an interesting mm -hmm. combo. There you go. The Public Enemy Revolution Tour uh, 2003. Oh, this is that song, that Barely Breathing. That yes. played like, I think it was the only song on the radio at one yeah, point. Yeah, for a minute. That, whew, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's Duncan Sheik, first time on vinyl. So for you Duncan Sheik fans, Boom. Queen Latifah, uh, Nature of a Sister. Well, to go with your Queen Latifah, mm -hmm. here's some Polly Shore in the Krusties. Woo! Boom. Polly Shore. Buddy, what's up, buddy? No. All right. Oh, yeah, what was it? No, what was no, it? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Is he singing on this? Crustopolis Volume 1. I thought it was a comedy CD. No. Or All right, CD. this one's a big one for me. Uh, it is uh, the Ramones, uh, 1975 yeah. Sire Demos. I'm definitely putting that one in my pile he just okay. stole the record yep. right in front of you mm -hmm. sonic youth hits for hits are four squares that's a good one gold nugget color vinyl mm -hmm. so there you go 
there's another one on my list. Uh, the replacements. Uh, not ready for prime time. Uh, live at the Metro in 86. Is that Sponge? It is Sponge. It's Sponge. Mm -hmm. Planet Girls, the lost 1999 album. There you go. What's this? Uh, the Roches? Roches. There you go. That was their uh, first EP. Album. Sorry. My bad. This looks like it's SRC 1968 debut. Hailing from Detroit over the top psychedelic fuzz guitar. Ooh, mm -hmm. I might like this. There you go. That's cool. I like some psychedelic. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I've got a pair for you. I've got uh, the Rolling Stones. I've got uh, their first album, just called The Rolling Stones. That was the UK edition. Then uh, this one is uh, The Rolling Stones live at Racket, New York City. This is Mavis Staples, Have a Little Faith, and it's the 20th anniversary deluxe edition. Ooh. Something tells me this should be in my record collection. My next one is a box set of Sonny Rollins called Freedom Weaver. Okay, 1959 European tour. This one's uh, an EP, right? Looks like Stars, The Five Ghosts with the Seance EP, right? Yeah. Pretty cool looking, ghostly looking. Mm -hmm. It looks like they're having a Seance in the back. Um, they were kind of an alternative hard rock band on okay. the cusp of that grunge era. So. Ooh, and it has a Ouija board poster inside. Ooh, mine. All right, then I got uh, two um, uh, by uh, the Todd Rundgren. Uh, first one is called uh, Todd Rundgren. Okay, and the uh, next one is called uh, Liars. <laughs> what, yeah, what is that? I have no mean? idea what the hell that is. Don't but... do drugs, kids. <laughs> there you go. That's all I can say. That's right. This one looks really good. Joe Strummer and the Mescaleros. Mm -hmm. Rock art and the X-ray style. Of course, Joe Strummer was from Rock the Casbah. Rock the Casbah. Give me a little more. The Clash. Oh! Rock the Casbah. Rock. That's Joe Strummer. It's on uh, Dark Horse Records. How about Records. London Calling? London Calling, well, yeah. That would have done it right there, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was an 80s kid. Well, that was 80s, too. The Ringo <laughs> Starr. Uh, this one uh, looks like a uh, four-song uh, album, an EP, called uh, Crooked Boy. Okay. You always have to have a Ringo okay. EP. Tesla, Real to Real, two LP set of mm -hmm. probably, what, demos or something? Something like that. Yeah. Tad uh, Grunge Band from the Seattle. Uh, this is called Infrared Riding Hood. Freaky looking. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Right. Yeah, Sister Rosetta Thorpe, live in France, 1966 concert. Mm -hmm. Two LP. Yeah, that's right. some good. Mm -hmm. Good rockin' lady guitar play in there. All right, uh, my next one is uh, Art Tatum Trio, live in Chicago, 3LP. Here you we just go. look so calm. I like mm -hmm. that I like that album okay. cover. Thin Lizzy, live and dangerous oh. at Hammerste Hammersmith. Mm -hmm. Where am, what are these names that I'm coming up with today? 16th of November, 1976. All right. And there you go. The Talking Heads, uh, live at WCOZ in 1977 oh, in cool. uh, Boston. Tinted Windows, classic 2009 album from mm -hmm. the Supergroup with... James Eha, which uh, he was with uh, the uh, Smashing Pumpkins, okay. Taylor Hansen of Hansen, and uh, Bunny Carlos of Cheap Trick fame, and uh, Adam Schlesinger. Includes two bonus tracks on red and black vinyl. Mm -hmm. And from uh, the uh, Slipknot, Corey Taylor, and this one is called CMF 2B or Not 2B. Kind of a, a on rip run. on uh, Band on the Run. Yep. Okay. All right. There we go. Just a little. All right. So, uh, Canadian, little Canadian shout maybe, out. Maybe a little, little yeah. slightly Canadian. Mm -hmm. The Tragically Hip, live January 14th, 93 at CBGB. Oh. Heard of that. Boom. This next one for me is uh, called uh, Team Sleep. This uh, features uh, Chino Moreno, Todd Wilkinson, and Mike Patton. Mike Patton of Faith No More. Chino uh, Moreno, I think, was with uh, Suicidal Tendencies, and Todd Wilkinson, bass player for uh, Rage Against the Machine. Killing it on the trivia today. It's U2, Atomic City. Mm -hmm. Looks like yeah. it's the same song twice, remix and live. There, there we go. go. Television. Uh, live at the Academy uh, in New York in uh, 1992. Okay. All right, this one's uh, The weekend live at SoFi Stadium. Feels like it could be a 2LP. It might be. Yeah. Then I've got uh, here the story of The Who. All right, real nice one. Okay, got the pinball machine exploding. I'm looking for a name here. Yeah, Stephen Wilson. Stephen Wilson, Harmo Harmonic Divergence. I can't read these yep. sides. Fine. Divergence, though. you're right. Pretty cool with the... Uh, 
pedals on the front, mm -hmm. matching design on the back. I've got uh, a box set from uh, the Wilco, uh, the whole Love Expanded. Oh, come on. Give me it. <laughs> Cover the front. Witch Finder General, death penalty. You can't look. They have naked it's, women It's uh, definitely very R-rated, all right? So, How dare real they? Real quick. Boop, there you all go. Right. It's on the back too, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this is some Eric Clapton going on. Who cares about the rest of the guys? The five live Yardbirds. Boom. Yeah, this is going to be. Mm -hmm. put, put it over there with your. And here's another Yardbirds. This one's called Psycho Daisies. This is yes? It is. Could they write that any smaller, do you think? Maybe just a little smaller. Yeah, I know. So mm -hmm. this is yes. Uh, first time on vinyl. Legendary live performance. 71. Yale Bowl, 71. Mm -hmm. Oh, heck honest? yeah. Neil You're Young. Fuck it up up boom <laughs> yes this is this is the one you come for right here uh -huh. unfortunately i'm taking all these copies oh, okay. they will be sale for later one for per person john uh, who was that who's that by by the way this is neil young uh -huh. neil young crazy horse uh -huh. that's all you need to know all right frank zappa and this one's called um uh, frank zappa for president and for you movie buffs airplane the movie soundtrack Boom. I think it's mostly a score, from what yes. I understand. Elmer Bernstein. Yeah, and you have about uh, 23 tracks from mm -hmm. the movie. Uh, then I've got uh, Days. Actually, it's called Even More, Dazed and Confused. It says they found your stash again. All kinds of good stuff on here. Brought to you by the BBC, Doctor Who, The Edge of Destruction. Looks like it's a uh, cool picture disc for your Doctor Who fans. I believe it also has a, a zoetrope around the edges. So. Does it? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Classic boom, boom, boom. Yep, sure does. And here I have the soundtrack to Lost in Translation, which was uh, Bill Murray and Scarlett Johansson. Of course, it took That's place a good movie. in uh, Japan, Tokyo, Ooh, I believe. Yeah. And I see the cool uh, Obi strip. I think that is yeah. a very good soundtrack mm -hmm. from what I remember. In Beloved Memory of Calvin Brodus, so this looks like Snoop Dogg. It is. Okay. In Beloved Memory of Calvin Brodus, 1972 to 94, Murder Was the Case. It's a soundtrack. soundtrack. That was the movie. It was called uh, Murder, is, Murder Is or Was the Case. It's a uh, various artists, so, uh, and of course it does include um, Snoop, uh, Dr. Dre, and so on. Uh, here is um, a 2LP set. That I didn't know we needed this, um, of uh, The Punisher. He ordered uh, it for himself. Was... <laughs> this is uh, the Punisher soundtrack with Dolph uh, Lundgren. That's okay. not Dolph Lundgren, that's Drago. Is, yeah. That's okay. Drago, Drago, Drago mm -hmm. from Rocky IV. Yeah. All right, another uh, movie soundtrack here, right? 50th Anniversary Edition, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh -huh. I remember when I was growing up in high school, they went to the theater and everybody dressed up and acted the whole thing out. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Throwing stuff at the screen and yeah. at the back row. And yep. Absolutely. Okay. So there you go. Mm -hmm. South Park 25th anniversary concert. Uh, this was at uh, the Red Rocks uh, Amphitheater up in uh, Colorado. Spawn. Another soundtrack? Yes, it is. The Metal Meets Electronica Time Capsule soundtrack from 1997 on Red Smoke Vinyl. That was where a bunch of like electronic bands met metal bands. We've got like Metallica in there, Corn and the Dust Brothers. Or Henry Rollins. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next up is uh, called, uh, it's a various artist called uh, Power of the Heart, a uh, tribute to Lou Reed. Another uh, psychedelic, heavy psychedelic, uh, it's Pale Shades of Grey, uh, band, or ballads and dirges from 1969 to 76. Very cool looking cover. This one is another various artist. It is from Loose Groove Records. It is uh, called House of LSRG. And uh, there you go. 300% dynamite, ska, soul, rock steady, funk, and dub in Jamaica. There's a lot going on in this album. Yep. So that looks pretty cool right there. Is this various artists? It is, yeah. yeah. Punk 45, uh, kill, um, kill the Hippies, Kill Yourself. Studio One, what is that, Rude? Uh, oh, Rude, Rude Boy. Boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Limited new edition special color vinyl. Very cool looking album. The Jazz Dispensary, Freedom Sound, uh, The People Arise. There you go. Okay, and then last but not least, we have Psych France Volume Nine, 9 Pop 60s, 70s. There's That's all right. kinds of things going here, but mm -hmm. if you like your psych, here you go. It's a cool cover. I like all right, it. we are, uh, we're done. That wasn't so bad. No. All right. I need a nap, but we're good. I Everything's so. going to be hitting the floors right. Friday yeah. night. There's going to be go. a different setup this year. Just be aware of that. We're going to have enough people here that uh, will be able to guide you through 
the store with ease. Yeah, I think it gave him a little more breathing room. I think there. so too. Yeah, it'd be right. right through the front door. You'll see it. But yeah. um, you all, all set right. for Saturday? I <laughs> I'm psyched. You're going to be busy. I just get to run around yeah. and film things. Yeah, uh, it's going to be fun. So we're all good. We will see you on Saturday. Yep. Thank I'll you, John. Here. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. This is a 50th. Wait, didn't they tour together? They did. They played. They had these pianos that went like this. Go ahead. Go like that right there. Play piano. That's what they did. All right. Caribou. All right. <laughs> All right. We got to get our next batch, right? All right. You ready? One, two, three. We're back. All right. All right. And here we are. We've got the rest.